So in this tutorial, I wanna be showing you how to create out wild hair in Photoshop CC. So maybe you are working with some photography or a model and they've just got some crazy afros or wavy hair, or you've got some shots where you know you need to cut out the hair in Photoshop. This is gonna help you do that. So you can see I've got this background. It's a nice blue, very simple and clean, which makes it easier to cut out hair. But Photoshop has a new feature, which is actually really cool. So I've just dragged this image into Photoshop. Now what I'm going to do is click the top left section menu and click on select. And I want you to go down to subject. This is gonna allow Photoshop to make a selection based on the image we have. So you can see it's done a fairly decent job of selecting the hair there, but obviously we have to fix it up and clean it up. And it selected her body pretty well, which is fine. I think I'm just gonna use a lasso tool and hold shift and just add the, her shirt there. And as you can see there, I think that's fine. Now, once you have you that, just press select and click on select and mask. The shortcut key is also Alt Control R. Once you click that, it's gonna take you into the masking mode. So you can see here, we've already got a little bit of the blue from the background. When you go to the refine mode on the top, on the right side, you can see all the properties we've got here. Make sure that instead of object aware, you can actually select color aware. And that's because our background was mainly a color background. And this is gonna make it easier. You also wanna click decontaminate colors as well. And it should make the blue a little bit less saturated there. And then I'll show you how to clean up the blue with another technique after this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna the top left. We've got a few tools here, but we wanna click the second one. And this is called the refine edge tool. This is gonna allow us to refine the hair. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna make the brush size not too big. I'm just gonna make it sort of small to medium. And I don't wanna go all the way inside the hair. I just wanna go on sort of the edges where the fibers of the hair are. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag and start to drag through all those edged areas, the edges along her hair. So I'm just holding down my mouse going really slowly and just seeing that selection and what's happening there. So you can see, and I'm sure after we do this, that it's gonna be a really big difference. And once you let go, it should sort of make that selection. And we can also change the view mode. You can change it to overlay, as you can see there, and also black and white to see what's going on there. But I'm just gonna go back to onion skin so you can change the views there. But I'm gonna press okay for now. Now, what I want to do as well is I wanna just get rid of this little blue stuff first, and then I'll show you some last little things to make it more refined. I'm just gonna make a hue saturation layer. I'm going to select blues. I'm gonna zoom in with my mouse click the eyedropper and find the blue color. Then I'm gonna drag the saturation down and it should get rid of all that blue in her hair. Just like that, beautiful. So now what I'm gonna do is hold Alt. If you're on a Mac, it's gonna be Option, but hold Alt and click on the layer mask that we just created before. So what we've got here, you can see the hair is looking pretty good. You can see all the little fibers there and all the little details. And majority of the areas look good. There's a few areas I might wanna clean up. So maybe this little area here, um, down here looks okay. I think this corner as well needs a little bit of help. So what we can actually do is that we can actually paint and fix this up. Make sure that I'm on this layer. I'm gonna press B and you wanna make sure that the mode you're on is not normal, but you wanna go down to overlay. Cool, so I made my brush bigger and now I'm gonna just click back. And once it's on overlay, it's gonna be a lot easier. So you can see if as I'm painting, it gets rid of sort of those very lighter areas and doesn't get rid of the white. But if it was on normal and I started to paint, it's gonna get rid of everything. So that's why we change the mode to overlay. So I'm just gonna paint on some of these sections here just to clean it up. Um, any section that I feel like needs a little bit of refinement. You can also adjust the opacity of the brush maybe by 70%. And I'm just using a normal soft edge brush there. Just the default brushes. This area needed a bit of work as well. And just like that. Just to make it a li that much, little bit much better. 
Cool. Beautiful. Now, once I'm happy, all I have to do is click Alt, click back off that layer. And now we've got our character here. I'm going to go to add a solid color layer. And we can make it any color we want. Maybe we'll go for the purple. And I want to drag that color down. And now if you go look at her hair, you can see beautiful and perfect. It's looking amazing. I can also make it to white and you can also see that as well. So you can see her hair is looking good. And that's how you cut out hair in Photoshop CC. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And let me know in the comments below if you want more Photoshop tutorials just like this one. Remember to smash the like button and subscribe for more graphic design content. I'll see you in the next tutorial.